Usually, before I go shaking my tits for the press, I like to go see how the professionals do it. Set a timer for 55 minutes. Some might say the chief of police has no business in an institution like this. But in fact, it's the quietest and safest place in town. You won't run into any reporters, nobody gets into any fights, nobody drinks too much, nobody even raises their voice. The place is owned by an elderly gentleman who knows how to keep things under control. That's why I never invite my friends here. Story. Uh, continue. Day 11. Looks like the janitor has been around to clean the toilet. I don't know about you, but I care about the cleaning. Like, yeah, no. Like if I have to clean my nope. <laughs> All right, that one detective that I hired is just a piece of shit. Uh, I played that one last time. This one it is. This is like, this is days. I mean, you guys are seeing days apart too, or day apart. This to me is like days and days apart. I didn't hear the connection was shit. Whoa, okay, uh. Uh, who's the worst? This guy. Fuck that guy. Uh, I. yeah. Jack caught a side of his character with a dagger to its side. Hey. We'll deal with that in a bit. We'll deal with that in a bit. Uh, and starting to farm said party spawn as they call it. Two films were attempting to gain entry. Baby. Looks like we have a situation. No sounds are connected to the house. The front door's been broken. Uh, 10th died and expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket when he was caught, he began to throw food. Starting to hand the whole organization over to this ID.
fine, 839. Whatever happens at 839 at the city center, that will not mess around with me. Progress. Assault with a deadly weapon. Of course, I just saw a skinhead attacking a dark skin valet, striking him around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you dead. Three, no shit, I'm gonna do it. She believes she saw pistols sticking out of the skinhead's back. Attempted murder, son of a bitch. Kevin is at home alone, hiding under his bed. Unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment door. move on to Davenport man I hired this man for him to be utter shit oh what a great pose Bloyd in my new role as corrupt official I had to give up some of my favorite habits I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack no more days off to go fishing but my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition one night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to 60. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vickis Varga rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, 
traded what could not be traded and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. Mm. But if Vargas mm -hmm. was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, hmm. I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. If it weren't for the phone number so written on my bosses. arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. <sighs> Under arrest, students volunteer to help farmers. I really just want to play the cards. My morning ritual was plagued by the smell of Vicus Varga's fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vicus was right there in my living room. When I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. I'd open my door to lots of threatening mail, Evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two. But fruit? Never. You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Fine. <laughs> the morning seemed surreal, and I took in the magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows where, I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably lying bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old colony club, my nose buried in a rotten orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. The dust was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It all seemed familiar. 
The Sand family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades, but few have managed to get closer than a few miles. I guess I'm just lucky. I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised my company ranks at all. Today, yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Sometimes, I guess. But that's not why I go. And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby? Do you know anything about my hobbies? That you like well, to judging by the half dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. It took ever so long. But now I'm older. I've developed a new talent. Oh, what talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. To sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly oh, are the Jack. master. That didn't sound great. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Needless to say, I'm impressed. While some people learn to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush, surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully Somebody multiplied for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Look, I don't know what was said between you and Kenrick. But it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. What war? One war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has come at last. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war, and I'm obliged to answer. So, we're talking about Varga now. I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack... I could just give you half a million right now, cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. Yo, what? So, do I just have to pick a side now? Uh, 
What the fuck? There's a war, and I'm gonna have to probably pick a side. And holy shit, these guys. Like I said, it's minutes. a whole new life, and I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under, concerns is all I got. Oh, Varga. Tell him it's Boyd. <sighs> oh, you know, fucking hate you. What I do, I just do, do this. I, ah, oh, fuck it, we'll just do this one. And it's the Beethoven one next, so. Actually, do I have something for the paddy wagon now? I guess not. No. it again. I know that one's a false alarm. I should have only sent one officer, but I'd prefer to send him in pairs.
I should not have asked them off the other cell. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a false alarm. I'm pretty sure bombs don't move, so... Please let me play the next day without like a cutscene. Remind me the uh, corn monument to be demolished by summer's end. Francis Kendrick won't succeed. Yeah, boy. City administration to finance dance. <laughs> Birch didn't come to work today. He must be dead. I was up all night because see now I have even know. First mob war in decades has spread chaos across the streets. Major criminal gangs view for power. The outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain: a couple weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. Excuse me, we'll make sure your final days is much more. 410A in progress. Unit lost. Oh, the murder! See, I don't have people to spare. Like, I can only do pairs of two. Birch is like, ah, oh, let's not show up. Uh, the sands need help. Nah. I'm not helping the sands. Uh, I said I'd, I would, said I'd work with Varga. This dark colored car comes tearing around the corner, hopped the curb, and kept on going, knocked the man over, didn't even slow down. Dark colored car. Not long before the crash, I kicked a couple of drunks out of the bar. They were having a fight with some of my regulars. A few days ago, Dad had a fight at work with a couple of young people who were causing a ruckus at the library. The whole thing almost came to blows. They threatened him before they left. I sat two people in the car, they went right by me, the man in the passenger seat had a beard. Kamlik thought he was being followed, he said he saw the guys everywhere, said it looked like some land problem with him. Yeah, this is 
spades. Oh, yo, what? This is more than, f oh, yo, that's, this is more than four slots. I mean, more than three. I was trying to raise 10 or I was to spot. Jack, sand has had decades of strength in his position in city, but that doesn't mean the grip that that his grip can't be broken. Take care that Varga is ahead of points after two weeks in the war and successfully carry out at least half of his jobs. And one more thing, just so sand doesn't start suspecting you betrayed him, don't let Varga get too long out of points. If sand is out of the lead for three days in a row, it will cost you your life. Okay, uh. So I still have to help Sands, okay. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, the crime rate jumped up from 30 to 31%. Is that 31% currently?
parallel in progress. I should have refused that, but it's City Hall. And I just want my last 180 days to be peaceful. So, I'm not gonna do that, but what I am going to do. Can I request out of City Hall yet? No, I have a day left. Uh, another slot for an officer. Uh, uh, I, I can't help him with that one. Uh, I'm trying to raise 10 or I'm starting to top spot. I should have brought. Oh, uh, I can't help say, uh, Varga. I would have helped Varga, but. Let's put it this way I will do you, you, and you, Swara, Patty. Then, uh, you. How many do I need here? I need three. Fuck. Okay, uh. Shit, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to help this. My boy, uh, Mr. Boyd, I feel bad, but I need to. I can't help. I would have helped him. Is this shift day that I need another slot? Blood, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, I need another one for shift day. Fuck, I'm choosing.
he just, is he just get my ass where Roy didn't come to work today. Fuck kill Roy. Uh, no. Yes. You are able to. You, uh, you are to make sure that at least half the staff, the police station, or will, will 3D I can possibly do that. If they suck at their job, I, I don't want to hire them. That's not even a fact that I need. Then I need the job slot. 4 11 progress. Mm. Like, I don't have anybody. For this, which means some of these guys are. Hmm. I can't hire her. Several boys clearly in the state of shock are standing near the close to the edge of the bridge. Besides them, they're drawing the straw while they're slowly pushing the uh as long as the wind blows one of the children off the bridge, but he recovers at the last moment and stumbles to the ground with the scuff. the fuck back. Y'all are going on this one. Yep. people does need two I can I can do both of the birches I've been going to Sunday service for 36 years, and this is the first time I've seen such a disgrace. Some crazy young man on a motorcycle drove straight through the doors of God's temple, began running around, shouting blasphemy, he even dared raise his hand to Holy Father nuns. What is what is with the youth of today? It all happened so quickly. The guy drove straight between the pews, almost crashing. I I'm going to. I'll read that when I get information.
Oh, but now I can do I can protect this. And I can throw him on. But obviously these guys are looking for him. I have a detective case. Because for some reason, none of those motherfuckers get cases on their days. So... I'm trying to get everybody out. I got off. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I can't hire off the labor market till. Okay. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done what that one for Varga. Son of a bitch. As soon as I die, I don't want to restart. It's gotta be those. Well, he claimed. I don't know, I think I'm missing the last frame. But, no, I'm definitely missing the last frame on that one. The other one I didn't have enough frames for, so I'm not gonna try to piece it together. It's been three days. No, it's been three days. Uh, end the day. All right. Well, I will catch all y'all in the next.